maps and scale drawings. Now, these you'll use pretty regularly, or at least you used to. You'll still use them somewhat if you uh, don't have a GPS, so it's an important skill to know. Also, if you like model building, um, then it's important to know too, or if you, um, for Legos, they always list this sort of thing too, if you're building a real model. So if you look here, what we're talking about here is a scale drawing is an enlarged or reduced drawing of an object that is similar to an actual object. Scale. So these are examples of scale, scale pictures and drawings. I'll get to that in a second. Scale is a ratio that compares the length in a drawing to the corresponding length in an actual object. And probably the one that you're most likely to use, and architects use this all the time, and when you buy a house, you'll, uh, you'll actually pay attention to this too. So this here is an architectural blueprint, and that gives you an idea. It's a, obviously it's smaller than the real thing for a house. Um, here, this is a scale model of a train, so one eighth scale. So that means you multiply it by eight, you get the actual length of the actual engine there. Here, this is actually lists it's a one to seven hundred scale uh, model of the Titanic. So that means for every inch on the model when you make it, there's seven hundred inches on the Titanic. So that's quite a small, much smaller model. Um, but you can actually, you can actually have things that are larger. Uh, like if you were to have a model of the atom, then the drawing would be substantially larger than the actual model of the atom. So going over here, this is uh, an actual drawing or a model or uh, an architectural plan. And if we see up here, it says one inch is equal to 10 feet. So if I look here, I want to know how long this is in reality. Then I look and I see here, well, that's one inch, two inch, three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, six point five inches. And it's not exact, but it's pretty close. So I would just write it as this one inch to ten feet is equal to if you look here, I got six point five inches. equal to x. And when I multiply this out, I'm going to have 10 times 6.5, so x is going to, so the length of it is actually going to be 65 feet. Now, the important thing is here, when you do this, keep your inches on top or, and your feet on the bottom, or the other way around, it doesn't matter, as long as you're consistent that the things in the, that are represented in the actual diagram or the model are in the same place on top uh, or on the bottom. Uh, so that you don't mix them up and, and uh, make a mistake with that. Now, if I want to do, I could go ahead and do this here and measure how tall most of it is. And again, same sort of idea here. One, two, three inches tall. So again, it'll be three inches. Now let's do this on the bottom now just to show you what I mean. And X is going to be the actual value of the length of the house, and this is, remember, one inch for 10 feet. And I just multiply 3 times 10, that's going to be 30. So 30 feet is equal to the number, is equal to the number x. Now, here, kind of a cool map here. I like this one. so. This here is a map of the Shire from the uh, Lord of the Rings series and The Hobbit. And if you look here, we, what we've got here is we've got um, um, an actual scale, an actual map key down here that has some information. And this tells you how far something is. So it says 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. And it's about 4 centimeters for 250 miles. And so if I want to see up here, I'm going to find where where Bilbo started off with. That's Hobbiton over here. You see the Shire, Hobbiton. And he travels all the way over to here, to Erebor. Um, this is actually, I'm, I'm referring to Bilbo, because it's for the Hobbit, not Frodo from the Lord of the Rings series. I'm talking about Bilbo from the actual Hobbit. So if you look here, one, you go all the way up to about about 12. And that works out perfectly because 
what we already determined down here, remember, is that 4 centimeters is equal to 250 miles. And so then, what's the value of 12 centimeters going to be? And you can see here, just logically thinking about it, you've got 4 centimeters to uh, 12 centimeters, so it's going to be multiplied by 3. So it's going to be x is going to be equal to 750 miles. So no wonder they took so long to get there. And uh, that's there and back again is the name of the book that Bilbo writes. Now if I look here, I don't need my ruler anymore. This is uh, the last part, and this is an example of a SR-71 Blackbird. Now, um, important plane for spying. And if you look here, this is a model. It's 1.5 feet. The real SR-71 is 107.5 feet. Now, what is the scale of the model? Well, what I do is I would basically go ahead and take the, well, it's 1.5 is the model size. 107.5 is going to be the actual is the um, is the size of the actual reality and thing in reality. And I just I just uh, reduce this. I just go ahead and change this. The way I do that is I just like I did with uh, rates and when I want a unit rate, I divide 1.5 into 107. Remember how we do this? We go like that, we go like that. So now my decimal's up here. And 1.5, or 15 goes into 10, or 1 zero times, 10 zero times, goes into 107. Let's see here, how many times here? Goes into 96, so, uh, so 7 times. So that's going to be 105. Bring down the, this, and so now, I'm going to go, 15 goes into there once, so 10, and then bring down that 0, and again, this here is now going to be 1.5, as I said, 6, so it's 90. I could keep going here for a while. Actually, it will go on forever if I notice here 10 and 10. So it's going to keep going. So it's a, it's actually not a very elegant answer, but it's a it's probably closer to a 72 uh, scale model. But for our purposes here, it's going to be a 71.66666 model, um, which is if uh, if the actual measurements were correct, it was probably closer, approximately 72 to 1, because that's a standard model. So there we go.